Okay, welcome everyone. Um, today we're just going to start with a little bit, um, talking a little bit about stress. So just wanted to remind everyone that yoga is really great for stress management. Um, and one of the reasons that stress can be so, create such an impact um, and contribute to a lot of pelvic pain um, is that when you start having stress, even if it's just subconscious, if you're harvesting any emotions or feelings that you're not addressing, that can increase the autonomic nervous system, which is going to decrease blood flow and oxygen supply to your muscles and to your nerves, which is going to increase lactic acid and other waste buildups, which increases pain, which can increase more stress in the body, and it's a little bit of a perpetual cycle. So when you stop and do things like yoga, you're helping break that cycle, get rid of that lactic acid and waste, help increase that oxygen and blood flow and decrease your stress. So congrats for joining and contributing to that. Second thing I wanted to talk about today is um, a lot of times with pelvic pain, we can have increased pressure down in the pelvic region. So when you get a chance, check your yoga pants and just make sure you're not wearing anything too tight. So if you think of a tube of toothpaste, if you have a big squeeze in the center, it's going to put more pressure down on the bottom. So a lot of times, you know, if you're just wearing your yoga pants for yoga class and that's it. But if you're hanging out in pants all day that are really tight, just make sure you try and get them a little bit looser. All right. With that being said, welcome to week four. Next week is Memorial Day, so we will not be having it next week. So pick your favorite video and rewatch it if you like. And with that, we'll begin. So we're going to start in standing again today. And again, we're just going to begin with our awareness. So just feeling, how do your feet feel on the mat today? Are you feeling twisted, more weight on one side or the other? And just noting everything right now. Working your way up to your knees. Any discomfort in your knees? Are you clenching your glutes tight? Can you feel your pelvic floor tightening? Or are you nice and relaxed? Noting the back and the abdomen, the chest. Are your shoulders relaxed? your head sitting evenly on your neck, is it tilted to one side? Are you holding any stress in your forehead and your jaws? Where's your breath? Is it mostly up in your chest? Is it coming out into your ribs or down into your pelvic floor? Just noting where you are today. And then we'll come and we'll make sure our toes are pointing forward. A little bit of a spread of the toes. If your arches are collapsed in, gently bring them out. Soften the bend in your knees. Relax your glutes and your pelvic floor. Come and make sure that your ribs are over your hips, that you're not overly arched in the back. Just bringing those ribs gently over those hips. Relaxing the shoulders. Pretending like your head is on a string and we're pulling it straight up. And now coming to your breath, lengthening your inhales through the nose, letting your chest expand slightly and focusing mostly on those ribs expanding, letting that breath come all the way down into the pelvic floor, out into the ribs and the lower back, and exhaling through the mouth, returning to normal. And then start to play with your breath a little bit. Send one breath to the front of the pelvic floor. And 
one breath to the back. Feeling for any tightness, usually it's tighter in the back. And then playing with the side. Try and breathe more into the right side. And then more into the left. Focusing the next few breaths wherever the tightness was for you. Inhaling through the nose, expanding the ribs, and exhaling through the mouth. And then coming back to your full breath, we're going to do our tilts in standing today. Inhaling, rocking the hips forward, exhaling, flattening the back, having the hips come back. Inhaling, forward, exhaling, back. Flowing a few times with that. And then pretending that you're holding a pencil pointing straight down. We're going to do our circles and standing as well. So trying to get some movement through the hips in a pain-free range. So if there's pain for you, then you stay in the area that has no pain, gradually making it bigger. If you can do full circles, nice and slow circles, and then switching directions. We'll even, we'll come back to the center. And we're going to come and bring our arms up if it feels comfortable for you. So today we're going to have the arm position like you're holding a big beach ball. Shoulders are relaxed. Shoulder blades are ever so slightly pinched back. And now making sure that you're still keeping your ribs over your hips. So if you've arched your back to do this, bring it back. Keep your soft bend in your knees. Feet are directly below your hips. So if it's comfortable when we do the arms, you can bring your arms to this position. So go ahead and lower. We're going to come into our squats. Inhaling, reaching up. Exhaling, back down. The arms feel good. We'll do our arms with this. And on this one, we'll hold. Feeling the work in the glutes. Maybe sitting back, pretending like you're going to sit into a chair. And relaxing. Focusing on your breath here. Inhaling down to the pelvic floor, exhaling to trip the arm. And on the next exhale, reaching up. One more time. Inhaling, arms up, sitting back into our chair as far as it's comfortable. Look down and check your toes. Are they both still pointing forward? Relax your back. Your back is bothering you, drop your arm. And exhaling, coming up. Now we're going to inhale and step our feet wide. Toes slightly turned out. We're going to flow with our breath. Inhaling, arms up. Squatting down, exhaling, return to standing. Inhaling, arms up, small squat. Exhaling, return. Flowing with your breath. Now we're going to come to the right side. 
doing a small lunge, feeling a gentle stretch in the left inner thigh. Focusing on your breath. If you're comfortable, you can bring your arms up in this posture too, making sure your back stays relaxed, your ribs stay over your Inhale, coming up, coming over to the other side. Inhaling back up. Now we're going to flow our arms over to the right, coming to the runner stretch. Left knee drops down, toes relax on the ground, feeling a gentle stretch through the front of the left thigh. Taking a few breaths here. Making sure that you feel a stretch in here and keep your abdominal muscles tight to feel more of a stretch, but you don't want to throw your hip forward. If you feel any pain, relax that hip a bit more. Inhaling up to the other side. Feeling your arms down, right knee down if that's comfortable for you. Up, step your feet back together, and let's come to sitting down on your back. Lying back, keeping your feet on the floor, we're going to come into our bridge position, relaxing the front of the thigh, and gently lifting up when you're ready, trying to feel the work in your glutes. Relaxing the front, coming to a position that's comfortable for you. Inhale, come down. Exhale, back up. Inhale, down. Going a few more times with your breath. On the next one, we'll meet down. Bring your feet together. Let your knees drop out to the side. Reverse butterfly. This feels comfortable for you. Otherwise, just keep your knees up and focus on your breath. Take one more deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. You can continue breathing out through your mouth or you can switch back to your nose, breathing in and out. Bring your knees up together. Inhale the right leg up. Right leg crosses over the left, right arm out to the side, coming into our twist. The 
and you know that that's more comfortable for you. Turning the head to the right if you need more stretch, to the left if you need less stretch. Inhale back up, keep holding behind the right leg, straightening that leg, coming into our hamstring stretch. Pointing and flexing if that feels nice. And finding a comfortable position to hold. Breathing. Relaxing that pelvic floor. Expanding that leg. Cross that leg over the left one, bringing the left leg up into our figure four stretch. Relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your jaw. And release. The left leg comes up, coming again towards the chest, bringing it around so it's going closer to the left shoulder, or you can do the half happy baby if you did that one last time. The left leg crosses over your body to the right side. Left arm stretches out, finding that stretch that feels right for you. Trying to relax, relax your legs, bend the right knee up if you can't relax, relax your back, your shoulders, each breath sinking down into the floor. Come up. Inhale. The left leg straightens. Holding behind the left knee. Pointing and flexing the left foot. Finding that position of comfort to relax. Remembering to find a gentle. And cross the left leg over the right, pull the right leg up, figure four stretch. Remembering if you feel any pinching in that left front hip. Bring your legs back down and stay here. And placing the left foot back on the ground, either rolling to the side and sitting up, or if you're comfortable, or rocking up into sitting. We'll bring the right leg in front, the left leg behind, coming into our rotation. If this is comfortable here, you can get a bit more of a stretch by gently walking your hands forward. Place your forearms on the ground and drop your head down, drawing your left.
whatever position you're in, walking slowly up back into the sitting. And then we'll switch legs. Left leg comes in front, right leg goes behind if that's comfortable. And seeing how this side feels, can you walk your hands out again? And let the head down. Focusing on your breath. Letting go of any tension. Relaxing your shoulders. Making sure your neck is comfortable. Inhaling, coming back up into sitting. And we're going to find our way onto the hands and knees. And we're going to come into cat cow. Inhaling, gently looking up, bring that back arch down. Exhaling, back arches up, neck drops down. Flowing with your breath. Inhaling, gently looking up. Arching your back. If you want to stay in one position, you can hold it for a few breaths. Maybe your hips or your shoulders. Coming back to flow. And when you feel even, we'll knit, meet in the middle and spread your knees wide. You're going to sit back into child's pose. Head drops down. Arms can stay reached out in front of you, or they can come back behind you. And find you a comfortable stretch. You can hold it here or you can flow back and forth between child's pose and hands and knees. Inhaling and coming back down. Exhaling up on all fours. Inhaling. Wherever you are, we're going to come to hands and knees and come back to sitting and then meet in line. You can bring both knees up to the chest and let your knees fall out to the sides. If you prefer a happy baby, you can grab the outside of your feet. Focusing on your breath here. You can rock side to side, that feels good for you. Trying to lengthen your spine. See if every vertebrae can touch the ground. If it feels good, you can tuck yourself up into a ball. Forehead comes to knees, big squeeze, and then release. Taking up space, that's what your body wants to do. We're keeping your knees bent, feet on the ground to protect your back. Finding whatever position is easiest to relax. the arms, relax, and drop. 
to wonder if knowledge left thoughts or feelings and then returning to your breath noticing where your breath goes to has changed Slowly start to wiggle your fingers and your toes, bringing some awareness back into your body. And when you're ready, roll to one side and push up into sitting. Taking a few breaths here. Thanking yourself for taking the time dedicate to your body. When you're ready, blink your eyes open, and then we're going to come up to standing again. Standing up nice and tall, and just feeling any awareness, any change from the beginning of the session. Do your feet feel a little more even. Is there any less stress that you're holding on to right now? Has your breath changed? And then we'll do a little walk, walking around, feeling any difference in your steps, any change in your hands. And if you like, we'll meet back in the center and say namaste.